Hello, it's YouTubers, and welcome to another part of Uncharted. Um, fun stuff. This is post commentary because, you know, last part my game disc didn't want to work, and apparently, these next recording, my audio felt like crapping out. One thing was, I could have still got some of the old stuff, but it was still corrupted a bit, so I couldn't do anything with it. Are you okay? Yeah. But hey, anyway, crazy monsters. Okay. I don't think they can get through this. Nate. What? Where are we? I'm not sure. <gasps> Go! Yeah, I'm just not in a joke-making mood, man. Hey, look, more wow. U-boats. This explains the U-boat in the Amazon. Nate, come here, look at this. So they found it. They must have broken into the vault and cleared it out. Yeah, but what's the monastery got to do with it? I, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Huh. If that's where the statue is now... Oh, man, we, we were right on top of it. I know, right? I bet this will take us to the surface. Guess the Nazis didn't pay their electric bill. Oh, damn it! You know, I bet if we can make it to the generator room, we could get the power turned back on. We just gotta find a way out of here first. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Finding a way out. Oh. Found a way out. Nice work. Yeah. All right, let's go. Nope. This one's all you, cowboy. What do you mean? Nate, you know I can't make that jump. There is no way I'm leaving you here alone with those we things. We don't have a choice. Just go turn the power on, come back and get me, and then we'll get the hell out of here, okay? Just go. Oh, if my audio sounds more clear as where I position my mic. Right back. Yeah. I have it set up weird. Which I can practically talk about now because climbing section. Ooh. Basically, um, because I'm recording off a of HD PVR, and this sounds delayed. I hook a set of headphones up to the TV and I just wear my headset around my neck and just use the mic there. I probably need to get a, you know, a, a, my own mic stand and stuff. But that can come later. But yeah, climbing this is pretty much it. And you know what? Here, let me show you the difference. Well, let me tell you the main difference between post commentary and live commentary. You may be thinking that, well, in live commentary, you'd just be talking while you're doing stuff you'd be like oh I made this jump and in post commentary you actually find something worth talking about it's not really that in fact the way you play the game is drastically different too let me put it this way in post commentary because I am talking while I'm playing I'll stop at certain points I'll say this I'll say that you know a lot of standing still which is okay because you know I'm still talking but if I did that with a post commentary part you just be wondering, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I standing there? Post commentary is a lot more, the gameplay is a lot more streamlined, and, you know, the commentary, that's a whole different thing by itself. Uh, I almost missed that jump when I was playing, too. It's hard to see where the ledge is, so it feels like you're just about to fall off and go to your death. Hey, you okay? Sullivan, come in. Hey, come in there. That's no use. You can't get a signal in here. God damn it, AT and T. I know you suck. I'm kidding. I have AT and T, but only for a cell phone provider. It's pretty decent for a cell phone provider. Apparently, it's balls for everything else. I really don't like this part. It's dark. Things come out and try to kill me. What the hell happened here? I'm a bit of a scaredy cat. But hey, I'm not actually playing it now, so you don't get to hear me yell and scream. Well, I didn't scream, I just went surprised. And now I vandalized the place. Fuck these bottles. Oh, I'm mixing up right now with something else. And I'm trying to get the projector to work. That comes later. But for now, you want to leave and kill these assholes. And this is why I really don't like this part. These guys. 
Man, I wasn't. I thought I wasn't playing a Resident Evil game. And the shotgun's still kind of balls. Seriously, the shotgun's like in the weapon that they give you. Uh, here, it's a. I I don't know what it's called. I have to see it again. But the shotgun's like the only good thing to shoot from the hip, and that's you know because of its natural spread. Oh no, I died. I didn't cut that out. Weird. But anyway, we got these, which is a freaking. I missed it. <laughs> Some German weapon, I, I assume. But they give you more. They give you enough bullets here. I was gonna say more than enough, which might be slightly true, but it's still a good amount because we're going to have to fight through a lot of these. And I, I noticed um, while playing games like this, it's best to wear a headset or have really bitchin' speakers because it, it lets you know where these guys are coming from. The sound in this, I, I guess it's a uh, dynamic sound, I guess. I think that's the term for it. It, it lets you know where you know, they're coming from. You can hear if they're behind you, in front, left, right. It even works with bullets, too. So, you know, that's... Great. Distance also worked in there. I like how they keep this part practically quiet and then eerie music. It really unsettled me. This is I didn't like it, but you know, it's right. It was what they needed to do. See, by this time, I was counting out ammo, and, you know, I didn't want to pick something up if I knew how much ammo he gave me. I've long forgotten how much he did, like, 45 shots, I think, somewhere around there. Thank God. So, if I had, like, 90 shots left, and this only carries 105, I wouldn't needlessly pick up ammo on the ground and save it for later. I can play smart if I want to. You know, I don't always stand outside and get shot at and don't take cover. So what you want to do with this part is you have to get to these switches, you know, for the power to actually come on because pushing a crank just isn't enough. I don't know why they give you mines here because these guys will come at you in a way that it won't even matter. For example, no, you can't leave through there. For example, you have to come down here, and it's only when you come down here do they start to, you know, come at you. And there will be a lot of bodies packing the floor, and they come one after another. So, you know, what's a mine gonna do? Shoot one. Alright, you killed one. You really gotta work on your timing for reloading shots, or, you know, you're just gonna get mauled like that. I'm sorry, they come sometimes two at a time. Ooh, big difference. Damn, even when they're all the way over there. You know, all this red doesn't help. I'm still creeped out. It's weird, because this is the only part of the game where I particularly try to play safe. Well, extremely safe. See, I'm also focusing in to make sure I don't waste any bullets. Even though I, I sure I am. I, I bet I am. Finally, that ungodly noise stopped. Now, you can't sit here and wait, you know, like I did before, but I took a bit of the initiative this time. Mostly because I knew that would happen. 
This is turning out to be a really lousy day. Just a really lousy day, not an extremely lousy day, oh, Nate. Man, those things must have got to them. You can barely hear the music. Oh wait, no, I'm wrong. I was. <laughs> you can barely hear the. Oh my God, get out of I'm here. gonna stop talking. <laughs> I was really mostly listening to the piano piece. <laughs> Everything else, like the violin, just whoosh out of my brain. That is a lot. I don't know what musical instruments they're using, <laughs> except for that piano. I I know what a piano sounds like. Ooh, movie time. Where's the pop? Oh. A horror film. So we're killing Spaniards and Germans. Pass to me alone. No ship will depart this island. I destroyed them all and drowned the cursed city. A thing of such great evil must never leave these shores. In my final hour, I commend my soul to God. May he have mercy on this unholy place. Wow, Sir Francis Drake went out like a boss. Honestly, thought we were done yet? No, no, not again. Now, um, fun part. Nathan Drake's lines were, um, recorded while he sat down and played the game. You know, these parts right here where he's running around shooting things. I don't know if that line could have been one. It, it sounded like it probably was, you know. I, I'd say that in this situation. But, um, you know, that's really interesting. And, you know, all of his normal other lines, they were also recorded while they were mo-capping for this game. You know, a lot of actors, voice actors, mo-cap their own characters. And they'll even base capture, you know, the voice actor's face for the character that they're playing sometimes. Not all the time. You actually have to have a budget. Trying to sit far enough away to where my um, mic doesn't pick up noises from the computer. It's freaking overheating. So I had to put on my glasses. Unlike my uh, normal TV where I sit as far away as possible and you just look up at that. And now I slightly get lost again. Because that's all I know. Oh, wait, no, I don't get lost. Nice. Right, this is the way out, not the way in. Ooh, free stuff. Gimme, gimme. Oh, I see. So we're on the other side of... Oh, that's not cool at all. Damn it, now I can't tell you to go eat a dick. Navarro, if you can't maintain control over a small girl, it won't happen again. <laughs> She's a grown woman.
I'm sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to, uh, thank you for leading us to El Dorado. Of course. Oh, I hope you don't mind if we borrow Miss Fisher a little while longer. Just oh, do you mind. discourage you and your partner from trying just to be creative. So long, Nate. It's been fun. No, no it hasn't. Not really. Yeah. Keep smiling, asshole. I'll see you soon. That sucks. Oh, that sucks even more. Oh.